<clears throat> back again with another dead body and why it was not solved. Uh, there was something very bizarre that happened yesterday, very strange. <clears throat> very WFT moment. As I was searching through dead bodies in Lemons to Mass. A street had came up, and now I can't find it. And I went to, and I was screenshotting on it. Of course, the last street that I find, I didn't get the screenshot it, because the damn thing, you know, I was messing around with the phone, it disappeared. I tried to go back, because I was like, oh, and because I was trying to screenshot it, I hit the wrong button hit the phone off, did this, did that. I'm like, you son of a bitch. And now I don't even remember the damn street. I was trying to stick it in my head. And now it, it like erased. It was like, what the, come on. You know, I'm sitting there thinking, come on, you can't be shitting me. So I'm trying to go back into finding it of course, it didn't even come up. And I believe it started with an M. And it wasn't Maple Street that that one body was found in that one guy's house I showed yesterday. Of course, I covered that video too in another video, but it wasn't Maple Street. And now I'm going to be <laughs> banging my head till I find it. But my man, Mike Torelli, throw a shout out to my man, which something he wrote in a comment in 2015 and somehow I did not catch it. Cause back then I was just getting used to the uh, messenger thing on Facebook. And he had told me about something that happened at a church in the old neighborhood in 1980. And uh, Mike's got to check out my um, What Happened Here video. I'm thinking of changing the name of it now. But I believe, yeah, it's What Happened Here. If not, I'm going to shoot him a link of it. Because that, what happened to him, <laughs> happened to me. When I was a kid and it's like, whoa. So something really did happen behind that church. And I dreamt about it. Now, whatever it may be, <clears throat> that I still need to figure out. But uh, anyways, that street, man, is really aggravating me. I don't know, maybe it could have been the Maple Street one, but I could have sworn that I had another name there. And it just said body found on this street. So I was like, damn. And like I said, I was trying to screenshot. My fingers must have got numb, hit the wrong button, shut it down, went back on, and it was gone. Now I can't find it. <clears throat> but anyways. Oh, man. Gonna go check out this next spot that my man Mike shot out. And I did find the article for it, and I do remember reading it in the paper, but I forgot about it in my other episodes, but hey, what's good is good, and why not make another video on it? Of course, Mr. Lifeguard's still sitting out here. Hasn't fell yet, people. I know I have the video up for that. I don't know how many people are gonna make them. <laughs> See how good he, someone gets on day. I already got one day and date of when he's gonna fall. All right, we are now entering Cottage Street. And, uh, right at the bridge on Pleasant Street. I'm gonna stop and get out real quick, check it out. Body was found up here, man. And I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah, there's people standing here, and I don't want them looking at me like some... Hey, what's this guy doing? 
nah, students out here. And actually, I can't get over there. Now, right beyond this fence is the bridge where the body was found down below. Yeah, we have to drag. There's too many people here. Right here, there was a body found on this bridge in that area. There was a guy, 56 years old, and uh, just punching Cottage Street, Pleasant Street, if you want to check it out. But right, it's not too far from this body that was over here. Now, like I said, that I'm about to write if there's a, about to wonder if in right that there is maybe a homeless serial killer going around killing serial killers. So here's the other spot, as you can see, not too far from that. Then you got Hannaford's right over here. But I mean, drugs, A. Hey, never doubt in my mind that it could be anybody that's ODing. But how they're getting over the fence or to climb down in these little areas, as you can see, just to want to wither up and die. Now that's a bit strange. But if someone's got their balls enough to sit there and dump bodies right there in public, I, mean, I believe it could happen. But uh, just to think, and that, I wish I could get out to show that area of that cottage street. But it's very, very, and as you can see, it's all like concrete in with walls and there's very little space to stand on. So why anybody would want to take their time to climb down there and just want to die? It don't make no sense. Because the simple fact that if someone had just had jumped down there and want to die, I mean, yeah, don't, don't you think they would have maybe rolled in the water or even if they just sat up against the wall and just sat there to die? I mean, <clears throat> I want answers from the police, man. I'd like to know, and here's Hannaford's, as you can see, not far off. I mean, the Fitchburg guy was in the river and he was hanging on rocks and stuff. Which I'm very surprised sometimes that bodies get caught up on rocks. And then again, right, he must have been right near the edge. And so forth. What are you doing? I feel like when people do this. Back right out in the middle of the road and block it off. And... <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna sit there and stare at rubbish buckets and why are they blocking the driveway and he can't get in. <laughs> Block up the road for that. But yeah, it's just strange. It's just very strange of how. And he, he, I showed you the other place and that other place of a new snark brook near Walgreens. I mean, yeah, there's very little land there. So I mean, for someone to just. Yeah, maybe sit there, lie there, fucking take they, they, their last breath. Yeah, it's possible. But I mean, it's just crazy how... Oh, man, it's just crazy about... Why the police don't give an explanation what had happened. And then the one in Fitchburg, they did reveal the name... They don't reveal the cause. And he was, I mean, yeah, he, oh, then he got the big article, oh, revealed, person revealed. Who cares, he died, we know he's dead. He might dead in the side of a river or a brook, really, what'd he die of? Was it, and they said the one in Fitchburg wasn't suspicious, but why didn't they say, yeah, there was no foul play in Fitchburg, Fitchburg said it. But still, it gives a question. Okay, he's a druggie. He died of drugs, but anybody can die of drugs. And anybody could probably get shot up by drugs if it's a serial killer. That's right. Perfect thing. 
I mean, if you take a look at the person's history, we had a long life of drug history. All right, he died of an overdose. But if he's not that much into drugs and he dies of an overdose, then that's a serial killer. Someone going around sticking people with needles. How do you know? Could owe him money for something else. Always a question. And I don't like it when there ain't no answers. Especially that Thailand kid, like I keep talking about. And he's never been what had happened to him. No blunt force trauma. I got newspaper articles from the 80s and 90s that talked about how people would murder and bash someone's skull in. And these newspapers in today ain't given the information. Yeah, that's right. I do got newspaper articles of people, just like the, the uh, killer there, Daniel LaPlante. They put in the detail of what that kid did to these people. And just, and now they got bums off the side of the road. I want to know what they died from. Seriously. If they did it back in the day, why ain't they doing it now? I mean, I didn't even remember to even, you know, to remember to say that yesterday. I got newspaper articles on this stuff. Of back in the day when they put everything in the paper. What people did, the killer didn't. And I think if these people were murdered by a serial killer or whatever, I think it should be put in the paper of how they died, too. I'd like to know. I would like to know. Because there was another body in Fitchburg, mind you, that was another one found at the bottom of a brook. I'm going to bring you there tomorrow. The one, I think I'll be able to bring you the one in Fitchburg, and I'm going to cover them, too. Because, hey, the one person could be making their rounds. And these are a lot of bodies that have been found around these damn places dead near rivers and brooks. What's up with that? I like to know. Be safe, take care, always beware. Because without information about what's happened to people like this, you don't know what's out there. Out.